And in much lighter news, since 2021, there's been a plan to bring an inclusive playground to Grand Island. It's made official with a ribbon cutting ceremony welcoming all to the Perny Inclusive Playground at Ryder Park. Local force Leroy Tricks has more. The Pony Inclusive Playground is now officially open, and parents were just as excited as children. Oh. It just brings joy to my heart because Carson gets to come and be right alongside her siblings. Typically when you go to a playground, she'll have to stand on the sideline and not be able to join in. Uh, so this is, this is awesome for her to be able to uh, join her siblings in play, and when I see the smile on her face, it just fills my heart. There's multiple sights and sounds with so much to do, kids can't just have one favorite activity. He switches on and off, but he really likes the little area where there's that kitchen area, and then he can go down the slide. He likes the rock climbing wall as well, but he always comes back to the spinning. Ashton Brummer says it's awesome to have a playground that's versatile for kids of all ages. I think it's cool because we don't have that many things over here that teenagers can do. We have parks for little kids and like you know, other little things, there's like bars for adults and stuff, but not much for like teenagers. So this is like a fun thing and a fun like area to be. Giselle Landa Veneer says they started with the zip line before getting on the swings. Taylor Beater says the inclusive playground is fun and is the best playground in the city because it allows everyone to be a kid again, making it truly inclusive. Reporting from Grand Island, Leroy Triggs, Local 4 News.